So there's a rule of thumb for the receive signal gain up and gain down for an FS230 or 220. Uh, same thing for signal to noise ratio up and down. For the gains, you'd like to see uh, the number below 30. Same thing for up as it is for down. Signal to noise ratio, you'd like to see them both above 30. If you're getting a very high gains and, and low signal to noise ratios, one thing that you can do is ohm out the cables. If you have a slip-on connector, you're going to want to remove that. And you want to measure between the outside connector and the center pin using ohms. And you're going to want to do this with the sensors attached on the other end. So here the sensor is attached to the cable on the other end. And essentially you're gonna measure the resistance of this sensor plus the resistance of the cable. Best way to do this is you trap one probe like this, put the other probe like that, and measure ohms. Now, it's not so important what they read, uh, but one sensor should read almost the same as the other sensor. They should not read open, they should not read shorted, and the ohm reading should not jump around. And you want to do this for both of them. And if you do have a slip-on connector, you want to check that measurement as well. Be careful not to short, short this out. Another thing you want to check, so here's where the connectors come in. But you'll notice that there's a ribbon cable back here. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. See the ribbon cable? There's one. This is for path one. And way down in the back, there's another one for path two. Make sure that those connectors are pushed onto this board completely. Otherwise, uh, you'll get the signal there sometime and then other times the signal won't be there. So it's important to check this ribbon ca cable connection and the one down in there as well. Now, if you are getting a strange reading and it's not because of the connector, uh, the slip-on connector, and it's not because of the ribbon, take the connector off of the coax completely. There's going to be about a quarter inch worth of insulation here. And this braided material should come right up to the end of this insulation. And none of the whiskers should be touching any of the center conductor. This is very important. A lot of times in the field, what I found is that Either this was touching this, or this uh, shielding was pushed all the way back, or there was very little shielding to begin with, causing a bad connection. It may be necessary to cut this off and restrip it, and then simply twist this back on again. And you should probably have about this much of the center conductor maybe i don't know half inch maybe a little bit less not too long not too short where it's deep inside there 